So the Ultimate Tots Cup is out, and if you don't know how it works, you play six games, you get yourself a load of XP and packs. So you get an 83 times 3, an 84 times 2, a team of season pack, score 10, get 85 times 2, and then if you win six games, you get an 83 times 20, and a team of the season pack, plus another team of the season. So you get three team of the seasons out of this cup. Now, I've already seen on social media and etc. that the cup doesn't work. So if you're wondering what's going on right now, it says here you need to have a max 93 rated team and you can have any team in the season players at minimum three in your starting 11. So, for example, let's go ahead and use my team. As you can see here, we've got quite a lot of team in the seasons. We've got, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, and one of the live cards. And you can see here, it says zero. Now, you could argue, oh, that's because your team rating is over. So let me go ahead and swap out one of these cards. We're going to go ahead and drop in a bronze player. Team of the season's finally here, and it's time to talk business. Have you encountered this problem when buying coins from other websites? But I've got the best service at Loot Bar. Loot Bar provides you with the cheapest and most reliable coins with an 8% discount for new users. I only spent 35 euros and I got a million coins. And now there is also a 5% bonus coins for all orders. Don't forget to use code Nanny to use 8% off. The coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours. That's awesome. Now I have the best team like this and you will be ready to improve your team like I said. The link will be down in the description and comment section. Use the code Nanny to get 8% off and 5% bonus and improve your team today. And what you'll see here is that should knock our rating right down. So we have got the rating now. So you can see here, we've got ourselves at the team of the season cards. They don't count. So let's go ahead and counter that argument and go, well, maybe, you know, you haven't got the right ones in. So let's swap this to team of the season live. And we've got ourselves one card in there already. So let's add one more to... So that's two added onto our list, and we drop them in. There is one there, and there is another one there. So right now, we have three Team of the Season live cards. They don't count. We have five Team of the Season cards, and they don't count. And you could also go, well, it's probably because you need Team of the Season Plus. Yes, it isn't that either. It's just EA being classic EA and not being able to code things properly. So this goes one, two, and then we drop in the third one here. Three, pop them into our team. Even if they're off chemistry, it doesn't really matter. One, two... And the last guy, three. So you can see here, the cup is broken. It isn't you. You haven't lost your mind. It's just absolutely bugged out. Now, I don't know how long EA going to take to fix this. Could be the next five minutes, or it could be in the Euros, for all I know. Now, the objective is really good to do once you've got yourself in a situation when it is available to do. Just take your time. There aren't limited games. You can take as long as you want. We have got a couple formations and everything like that to show you if you want to have a look at that. Especially, for example, you guys that struggle to get a few wins here and there. Yes, you could argue my team is very, very good. But these formation and tactics will definitely help you improve your gameplay. So all I'm doing right now is just going ahead and fixing my team that it was before. And we'll get into the tactics. So first of all, click on your left stick and then click on custom tactics. You can then switch to 4-2-3-1 or, for example, ultra attacking, attacking, defensive or whatever. Doesn't matter which one you choose out of these. They're all the same. So let's go to this one. We are going to have balanced, 45 width, 71 depth, build up play, balanced, chance creation on direct passing, 50 width. Then we're going to have two gray spots. So how many other players that is in the box? Three on corners and two on free kicks. In formation, spoiler alert, it's a 4-2-3-1. Now, if you want to swap players here, just press wild triangle. So let's say your formation messed up and you've got yourself Renato Sanchez playing left back. Oh, sorry, Griezmann playing left back, Ronaldo Sanchez left mid, etc. You can just press wild triangle, switch them over, and then A and X for the exact player that you want to switch them over again. So how you want this to be is you want to have your best striker up front, your quickest players on the left and right, or finesse shot plus on the left and right. Your middle cam has to be your best passer. So someone's got tick attacker, long ball, incisive, etc. Or five-star weak foot or five-star skill, whichever one you prefer to have. And then your two CDMs, you want at least one of them to have intercept plus to run that CDM role. And now we're going to jump over to tactics. So default, get in behind, stay forward for the striker. Left cam and right cam are the same. Come back on defense, get into the box for a cross. Odin guard is going to be default, get into the box for a cross, default, default. So your middle cam is just get into the box for a cross. And then your two CDMs are exactly the same. Now it's really important that you have cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, default, cover center, and then free position freedom on default. Make sure you have that for both of them because they are going to intercept a lot of passes. They are not going to go push out wide or anything like that. How this formation works is then Odin guard is going to go up to sit next to Giroud when we are defending and Griezmann and Asabio are going to drop right in front of Mukiele and Tia Hernandez. Now your left back and right back, whichever one you find is the most attacking one for you out of the two that you have, have it on default and then your other one is going to be stay back. So for example, Tia Hernandez is way more attacking for me, so he's on default on balance attack. 
And Mookie Ed is more defensive, so he stayed back while attacking. Now, it's going to be really, really good for when you're playing triangles. For example, on his left-hand side, Tio, Loftus, Cheek, and Griezmann is one triangle here. Then we have Loftus to bring the ball forward. And we have another triangle with Loftus, Odengard, and Griezmann. And then we have ourselves our five attackers here with the three cams, the striker, and Loftus cheek. While we have five defending with Renato Sanchez, who's going to move just in between these two centre backs. So it's like a five back and five attack. When you don't have the ball, like I say, it will swap to a 4 4 2, meaning you're very flat and direct and compact that they can't break you down. As soon as you win that ball, they will snap into position and run up the byline and give you so many choices. Now, it's really good to have yourself a finesse shot plus on one side, pace on the other just to mix it up, because then you can cut in and finesse into those angles, or you can use rapid plus and get in behind, for example. But I would highly recommend you use Giroud if you have him. He is unbelievably good. But just to recap, the cup is broken at the moment. Hopefully they fix it soon. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, touch the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.